Hi, I'm Tom Triplett. I'm here at the Fire Mountain Gym's jewelry making studio, just flipping through our comprehensive catalog. I came to the page that's about ice pick bales and noticed that we have over a hundred different varieties or styles of ice pick bales. So you may be wondering what the heck is an ice pick bale? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. An ice pick bale is a bale that has, it's basically uh, shaped in a U shape and at the bottom of each leg, there's a little peg that sticks out. And that's why they call it an ice pick because they look like little picks. So what you do with this is you use a piece of, of um, a component basically that has a hole on the edge of it. You take the ice pick bale and you line the picks up with the hole. Um, first of all, it's best to find the hole. Okay, and then you line up the picks with the hole. And then you give it a little squeeze or a pinch. A lot of people call these pinch bales because of this as well. And once you've done that, you have a really nice pendant. Then all you have to do is take a necklace, the necklace of your choice, just kind of thread it onto the necklace and close it. And you have a fabulous piece of jewelry to wear in just a matter of minutes. Sometimes if you are using the pinch bale and you can't get the bale to go down very far, just take a pair of pliers and grab it down towards the end where the pinches, where the um, picks are and just give it a little squeeze. That'll squeeze it a little bit tighter onto the stone or the um, pendant that you're using. If you're in a pinch, don't hesitate to use a pinch bale to make yourself a really fabulous piece of jewelry. Thank you for joining me today.